on May 24th, 2021, I graduated from Yale University and the blast that was my college experience came to a very poignant end. So what's next? Adulthood? An office job? Classic nine to five? Eh, not for me, at least not yet. I always told people I'd rather take the Peter Pan route, you know? Stay a kid forever, leave all the stress and adulting for later. So where does that leave me? Well, I just booked a flight to Hawaii. Made it to LA. Is it cheap that I packed a sandwich instead of buying airport food? So, 15 hours of travel. Oh, I look like a mess. 15 hours of travel later, we finally made it. To the island of Maui is where I am. Um, I decided that with my last couple weeks of freedom before I become an adult, I'm just gonna escape to the tropical island, try to have as much fun as possible until I enter the workforce. My so travel, but this is my travel buddy. <gasps> Introduce yourself, travel buddy. I can't. My hair is too bad. Well, that's going in the video. <laughs> no. Hold, stop that frame. Okay, rewind. Yeah, pause. Yeah, right there. Uh, zoom in. Okay, this is Laura. Um, she isn't just my travel buddy, but she's someone who I've known for a while now, and she makes me very happy. So, please be nice to her in the comments. Uh, that is all. Anyways, we spent the rest of the evening exploring the beach across the street from our Airbnb in the town of Kihei in Maui, and then woke up for an early start for our next day exploring the west side of the island. Your secrets kept you pushing down, disavow when you were on So, after our scuba diving endeavors were canceled due to low visibility, we are now in the, the Waihei. Yeah. I'm gonna pronounce stuff wrong. Ridge Trail. Just walked like 400 feet straight up. But look at the view, the ocean. We'll keep you updated, it's absolutely insane. This is so pretty. Okay, I don't know if we're nearing the top or what, but I think the vegetation is to finally thinned out. I don't think we're near the top. <laughs> Supposedly a four mile round trip. I think we're three quarters of a mile a mile into it right now, yeah. but it's been all straight up. But the views so far with the clouds over the mountains have been insane. Mm -hmm. to the top. I'm now wearing a hat because so much sweat has dripped into my eyes. I should probably not not be looking at the camera and be looking at where I'm stepping because we are on the top. After the hike, we stopped by the nearby Iao Valley State Park to snag some quick pictures and continued our drive around the west side of Maui. Our favorite stop was definitely the Olivine Pools which provided for some great swimming and an absolutely incredible view. Luckily, it wasn't too much further to see our very first blowhole of the trip, the Nakalele blowhole. Sick tree. Laura. <laughs> All right, it is now later. We've been driving around the um, west side of Maui today. Really sketchy roads. Um, like really like one lane roads where I don't 
How do they expect two cars to pass each other it on a one lane road terrifying. where when one side's a cliff and the other side's like a brick wall? And there were no guardrails either. So we have, we hit up some really cool pools, kind of sketchy. Um, and then a blowhole. I'll insert some footage of that stuff. But now we're at Honolulu Bay, which is apparently like one of the best places to snorkel in Maui. And we will see what happens. Josh Beasley 